Today I'm going to show you how to use Movavi's Chroma Key Tool so that you can get started on your green screen project today. Let's go! Let's begin by adding a video overlay track to the timeline. To do this, just click on the hamburger button to the left of the timeline. This will open a selection of overlays. By choosing Add Video Track, a second video track will be attached to the timeline, just above the main video track. Having this additional video track will enable you to layer foreground and background clips. Now, let's first drop a background clip onto the main video track. Next, add a foreground clip to the overlay track. After adding, trim is needed. Just be sure the background clip is of equal length to the foreground clip. Now the fun begins. Ensure the overlay clip is highlighted by giving it a click. Next, find the chroma key tool by selecting the More Tools icon located on the bottom of the left tool column. Then open the Video Editing drop-down tab and choose Chroma Key, either from the list below or over to the right in the tool gallery. After clicking, you should notice the computer mouse cursor has changed into Movavi's Color Selector tool. If for any reason you'd like to convert back, just click on the Color Selector icon right here. Using the Color Selector tool, click on the specific color within the image that you wish to be transparent. After selecting, your background should automatically appear. Now, if the results didn't meet your expectations, this is where the adjustments come in. The four chroma key adjustments are tolerance, noise, edges, and opacity. As you may have noticed, these adjustments come preset and the presets usually work well. However, sometimes fine tuning is necessary. And for that reason, it's important to have a general understanding of what they do. The tolerance adjustment is used to increase or decrease the range of tints and shades related to the color that you removed. I know that sounds confusing. Let me give an example. In this foreground image, the color behind the tablet is too similar to the green screen on the tablet. So in this case, Movavi's tolerance preset is a bit too much. To correct this, I will lower the adjustment a fair amount. Now, as I do this, watch what happens to the background. With just one simple adjustment, it looks much better. Okay, let's move on to the next two adjustments, which are noise and edges. Both of these adjustments alter the object's edges. Noise alters how sharp the object's edges should be, and edges alters how thick the object's edges are. Last, we have the opacity setting. And to put it into one sentence, opacity simply sets the transparency of the background. Oftentimes, these last three adjustment presets work nicely and are fine left as is. Having said that, every project is unique, so experiment with these and adjust as needed. Hey, if you need some free background images for your green screen project, be sure to check out this video. And thanks for watching.